It was a game changer, I think. Um, what a lot of people don't know is a long time ago I had consistent dreams where uh, in my dream the Lord would bring me into the city and in the city I would watch as all of these towers would get built all around me and I remember there being a super tall tower in the middle of that whole city and I would watch that thing get built in my dream. I literally had this dream probably 20 times, not lying. Uh, and I'd watch this, this, this giant tower in the middle of the city get built and I would hear the Lord say, I'm placing you in the center of, uh, of the Babylonian system so that you can bring the kingdom of God. He said, I'm going to implant you into these places so that you can make sure that, that the, the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God is actually placed there. And so I just took that on as like an a, a intercession, really. And I thought, wow, this is significant. You know, pray for the Babylonian system in prophetic language. Pray for the world. Pray for businesses. Pray for economies. Pray for governments, all that kind of stuff. So I thought, well, that's cool. And then when I was flying over to Dubai, I remembered... Uh, there's this building there called the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest tower, the tallest building uh, in the world. And so I thought, oh wow, this will be cool. Like, I'll be able to go there and maybe pray for it or pray around it, and maybe it'll be part of part of my prophetic dream or something like that. So I walk into my hotel room, and I was absolutely blown away because, well, first of all, the hotel room is beautiful. They said that I was one of the Econo hotels, <laughs> which is like what. But that's Dubai, they just try and outdo each other everywhere. And so I walk into this uh, hotel and I walk up to my window and I see my dream. Literally, I see my dream uh, that I had, I don't know how many years ago, probably, I'm gonna guess, like probably eight to nine years ago. I saw this series where there is construction and there's to towers being built and then in the middle of it all is this massive tower. And I thought, oh my gosh, like, this is it. This is one of those things where you just stumble into and welcome to my crazy dream life. So I was super excited about that because uh, my hotel room, it just had a wall of windows basically at the end and a nice big chair that I could sit in and I spent hours there just sitting there and fulfilling the dream, praying for the the quote-unquote Babylonian system, <laughs> you know, praying for the world economy, praying for the global leadership, praying for just Dubai, praying for the city in itself because there, uh, this was explained to me when we were driving around, I, we, I get driven around on all the freeways and everything you could see, it was kind of funny, like Maseratis there are like the Toyotas, so you'd see Maseratis going around everywhere and Rolls Royce, I saw four or five Rolls Royces every single day, you know, that was normal, there was always a Ferrari parked outside in front of my hotel, you could hear it ripping around, I'm like, this is so weird, but um, I remember like, while I was driving around, I was asking the people I was, I was with, like, just tell me about Dubai. Like, how did this happen? And they said that there's the, 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 the significance of Dubai is within a five and a half to six hour plane ride, there's something like, I can't remember what they said. I think it was 60% uh, of the world's population. It's some insane number like that uh, within a five hour flight from Dubai. So the majority of the world is easily accessible from this little town. You know, and so it's an epicenter for global trade. It's an epicenter for uh, arts, really, for, for Middle Eastern culture, for all of this stuff. It's all getting drawn into that place. And the king of Dubai, um, he understands this, and that's the, that's, that's the draw in that place. That's why the airport there is one of the busiest in the world. That's why you get United Arab Emirates, the most beautiful planes in the world. That's how you get uh, these office towers that, like, it's crazy. I saw the original boundary of the of the town and it was it was I don't know how you say that right but just miles and miles and miles after you see the original boundary you see just endless towers everywhere and it was just beautiful absolutely beautiful it was spectacular so it was really cool to be able to be in there and understand wow I'm walking into I'm literally walking into a dream that I had nine years ago which I thought was figurative and now I'm here and so I know okay when this starts to happen with me okay Something big is going to happen. Let's see what it is. <laughs> you know?